Hey cuties, so in today's role playing video, I skipped a grade at school. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is try and solve for X. Does anyone have any idea what X could be? Okay, that's totally fine. That is my job. I am here to help you guys solve for X. Okay, so the first step is... <laughs> Hey, Mackenzie, I'm sure whatever you're looking at on your phone is super exciting. And I know that we would all love to be looking at our phones right now, but we need to solve for X. Mr. Teacher, Man, Sir, Mackenzie is disturbing the class. Send her to the principal's office. Well, send you to the principal's office. Mackenzie, since you don't mind to be distracting the class, I assume you've already done all of your work and solved for X. Yep. And what is X? Oh, it's four. Yes, that is correct. X is four. Wow, how did you do that? I just did it in my head. Did you do the rest of the math problems as well? Yeah, I finished. That's why I was on my phone. Well, aren't you a little prodigy? Proto what? Mackenzie, this is perfect. You got every single question right. When did you even do these? When you were giving the morning announcement. Ugh, show up. You're such a little teacher's pet, Mackenzie. Hey, hey, Ashley, that's not called for. Since Mackenzie solved the X for us, does that mean class can be over? Nice try, Skye. Now, on to the next question. Aw, oh, man. A lot of boring math later. Well, that was an awesome class. Why? We barely did any work. We all just argued. Yeah, exactly. The teacher called out Ashley. I waited my whole life for that moment. Yeah, that part was cool. The rest of it was just really boring, though. Yeah, sure, boring for you, because you know all the answers. Mackenzie Turner, please report down to the principal's office. Mackenzie Turner, will you please report down to the principal's office? Oh no, I've never been called down to the principal's office before. What do you think it's about? Do you think maybe I won something? Uh, no, definitely not. I think it's probably because you just spent the last hour disrupting the class. Oh my god, what do I do? I can't be in trouble. My parents will kill me. I don't know, girly. The only suggestion I have is to go in there and apologize. You think that'll work? Mr. Principal, sir, man, uh, you wanted to see me? Yes, hello, Mackenzie. I just wanted to start off by saying I am so, so sorry I disrupted the class today. I've never done that before. I just don't know what got into me. Oh, no, you're not in trouble. Is that why you think I called you down here? Uh, yeah, kinda. You're not in trouble, Mackenzie. In fact, it's quite the opposite. The opposite? Let me ask you something. Are you ever bored in class? Uh, yeah, sometimes. Actually, a lot of the times now that I think about it. The work is really easy, but I gotta be there with my best friend, so I don't really care. And that is what I wanted to talk to you about. You see, I think you might be too smart for the grade that you're in. Too smart? Yes, I don't think your classes challenge you. You're way ahead of your peers, and I think you're getting bored too easily. You need to be pushed, and that's just not happening, which is why I think it would be beneficial to you if you skipped a grade. Skip a whole grade? You mean get closer to high school? Whoa, that's so cool. It is very cool indeed. Not everybody gets the opportunity, and I think you just flourish. Yeah, that would be awesome. Wait a second. You mean me and Sky, right? Like, Sky would be coming with me? No, I'm afraid Sky would have to stay where she is now in your current grade. Then no, no way. I don't want to skip. I don't want to leave my best friend. Mackenzie, think about what's best for you. I did, and what's best for me is for me to stay with Sky. Thanks for offering me the opportunity, though. Later that night. So, honey, how was school today? It was really weird. Weird how? Well, I was called to the principal's office, and at first I thought I was in trouble. Not that I would ever do anything that would get me in trouble, but the principal wants me to skip a grade. He thinks I'm bored. Skip a grade? Honey, that's fantastic. We are so proud of you. Yeah, but you might not want to be. I told him no. Mackenzie, why would you do that? This is a great opportunity for you. Yeah, that's what he said, but it doesn't really matter. It's not like I would ever leave Sky. Well, honey, you can't base your education on which class your best friend is in. Yes, I can. Mackenzie, do you hear yourself? Yeah, duh, of course I'm gonna stay with Sky. I don't care what this could do for me. She is my best friend, and I could never even make it through school without her. Sky is the reason I get through school every day. You know, kiddo, I hate to do this to you, but I think the principal is right. What? You agree with him? We do. You need to think about your education and what will help you advance in life. I am thinking about that. No, not your social life, your adult life. But, but what if those two things are connected? Mackenzie, come on now. You're not sounding like 
someone who's mature enough to skip a grade. Well, maybe that's because I don't want to. Nobody's ever asked me what I think. Well, that's because you're the child and we're the parents. And if the school thinks you skipping a grade is best, then that's what we're going to do. Fine, then whatever the school thinks. The next day... a grade. What? No, 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 no. You could not skip a grade. You just can't. What am I supposed to do? Who am I supposed to sit with? I cannot be without you, girly. Guy, relax. You sound like you're going to start hugging onto my leg. No one is going anywhere. Are you sure? Yeah, I already told my parents that. I don't want to. You already talked to your parents about it? Well, now it's a done deal for sure. That's how parents work. Um, no, because I have a plan. And are you going to let me in on this plan? My parents said I have to skip a grade if that's what the school thinks is best. Well, I don't think that's what the school is going to think is best when I'm suddenly not bored in class anymore. I really want to pretend I know what you're saying, but I am not following. Wow, I guess you really are the smart one. What I'm saying is that I'm going to play dumb. Why? What's that going to do? Once I start getting all the answers wrong in class, they'll clearly realize that they made a mistake. And then they won't switch me and I'll stay right where I am, here with you. Wow, you really are genius, aren't you? Not once class starts, I won't be. You really do this all for me? Play dumb so we don't get separated? Duh, Sky, you're my best friend. Anything to not have to go through school without you. Well, good morning, all my wonderful students. Good morning, Mr. Teacher, Teacher Man, sir. Well, since we had a riveting discussion on finding the variable the other day, I thought we'd put our knowledge to the test with a little quiz. Uh. Okay, okay, I know, but at least I know one of you knows the material. Mackenzie, I'm looking at you. I bet you can get a perfect score. Oh, I don't know. I think it just might have been a fluke the other day. We'll see. And the plan starts now. A lot of boring math later. Hey, Mackenzie, you think you can stay back and uh, maybe talk to me for a second? It's okay, Skye. I'm just gonna need Mackenzie for this. If you need it. Mackenzie, you got a zero on your test. <gasps> oh no, how could this have happened? You know, I'm asking myself the same thing. The other day, it seemed like you could do variables in your sleep, but now you just answered every question, A, B, C, or D, and it wasn't multiple choice. Oops, I guess the other day really was just a fluke. Maybe, I just find it odd that the fluke took place the same day the principal told you he wanted you to skip a grade, and then suddenly the next day you can't remember how to do math. You're right. That is a very strange coincidence. Kenzie, I know what you're doing. You do? Yeah, look, I know you don't want to leave Skye. I know that just the thought of being in a class without her is scary and overwhelming to you. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. And I get that, but you playing dumb and purposely failing tests is only going to hurt you in the end. I know how much you and Skye care for each other, and I know she'll support you in whatever you end up doing. What does that mean? That means that it is your best interest to skip a grade and your parents already signed off on it. But I don't want to. Our friendship will never be the same. Look, I'm not a teenage girl and I don't play one on TV. But if your friendship is as strong as you say it is, you'll be just fine. One hour later. So, what did the teacher want? He just wanted to tell me that I failed the test today. Whoa, that's amazing. He really fell for it. Good job, girly. Yeah, not exactly. He knew I was playing dumb. Oh, he did? Which is why. No, no, no. Don't you can't! No! I'm gonna have to skip a grade, Sky. No! The teacher is right, though. Right? About what? If he's telling you that you need to skip a grade, clearly he's not right about anything. No, but he is, though. He said if our friendship is as strong as we say it is, then we'll be fine. Well, duh! Of course we'll get through this. We'll get through anything. I just don't want to go every day without seeing you. I don't either, girly. I don't know how we're gonna do it. <laughs>
next day. Alright everyone, we have a new student joining us today. A very gifted student, I might add. Everyone say hello to Mackenzie. Hello, Mackenzie! Hello guys and hello Mr. Teacher Man, sir. I'm excited to be here. So Mackenzie, we are currently working on slopes in class and how to find the slope of the line. Is that something you've done before? No, wow, but that sounds really cool. I don't know how to do that. Great, so it sounds like you're going to be challenged. For sure, I know nothing about slopes. Whoa, this is a great idea. I'm so sorry to interrupt the class, Mr. Teacher Man, sir. Don't even worry about it. We're all just doing slopes. Okay, good, because it turns out there is going to be a second student joining the class today. Great, the more the merrier. All right, come on in then. Sky, what are you doing here? Surprise, Gary! Seriously, how are you here right now? Woo! 